Hey Brian. I haven't seen you leave work early before. Ah, but this time I'm here for a very specific purpose. What's that? Well, I happen to know that you are an expert in Six Sigma and statistics. I've been up the last few days thinking about p-values, and I still don't understand them. Well, I would be happy to help. Let's first begin by talking about hypothesis tests. Statistical hypothesis tests involve a null hypothesis and an alternative hypothesis. The null hypothesis states that there is no statistical difference between sets of data or no statistical relationship between data. In other words, any observed difference is most likely by chance. On the other hand, the alternative hypothesis states that there is a difference or relationship. Ah, well, that helps. Now what about p-values? Well, the p-value comes out of a hypothesis test. It represents the probability that an observed difference or relationship occurs by chance. Ah, is that what it is? Yes. And we compare the p-value to our selected alpha value. If the p-value is less than alpha, then we reject the null hypothesis. If not, then fail to reject. So, if the p-value is less than alpha, then we conclude that the difference or relationship is not by chance. Exactly. The alpha value is often set at 0.05, which means that we have a 5% chance of committing a type 1 error. A 5% chance that we might reject the null hypothesis and conclude that there is a difference or relationship when in fact there was not? Exactly. There is also what is called the power of the test, which is 1 minus beta. Beta is the probability of a type 2 error. The chance that we would fail to reject the null hypothesis when in fact there is a statistical difference or relationship. The beta is dependent on the sample size. The larger the sample size, the smaller beta is? Yes. If we have a larger sample size, our power of the test is greater and our beta is smaller. This means we have a better chance of detecting a relationship or difference. That makes perfect sense. So, if I am performing a t-test with alpha equal to 0.05, and I run the test and get a p-value of 0.04. Then, you would reject the null hypothesis and conclude that there is a difference between the means of the two populations you are comparing. Brilliant. Where did you learn about all of this stuff? From my friends at EMS Consulting Group. www.emsstrategies.com They offer consulting training, and online resources. I took one of their Lean Six Sigma classes. Fabulous. I'm heading back to work right now. You are going to work on hypothesis tests at this hour? No, I am going to visit www.emsstrategies.com to learn more. Here. Take my smartphone and visit them right now.